from ancient times when the Greeks went to Timbuktu and Egypt to acquire knowledge in mathematics, astrology, architecture and philosophy. Africa gave the West the foundations on which their civilizations are laid today. Slavery and colonialism brought about the industrial revolution of Africa and Europe through the human and natural resources of Africa. Today, Africa still continues to fuel the lifestyle of the West, producing the essential raw materials that make up 65% of the imports of the United States, 45% for France, and 65% again for the United Kingdom. Six out of the top 10 diamond-producing nations in the world are African. Botswana, in particular, produces the most diamonds in the world in monetary terms. Guess where the money is spent? 80% of the diamond industry's money is in New York City. 57 billion US dollars. And anybody who's heard the story of blood diamonds knows what this has cost Africa. According to statistics from the United Nations, 37% of the workforce of the United Kingdom is made of Africans, not British Africans, Africans. Due to overuse, pollution, environmental degradation, the natural resources of the West are gradually coming to an end, regardless of technology and whatever measures are put in place. The truth is unavoidable, it is inevitable. Africa will be the sole source of natural resources, not just for the whole world, the West in particular. Let's face the truth. The West is coming to the end of an era. Africa is just beginning. Thank you. For the sake of argument, yes, the West provides Africa with aid, but at what cost? The IMF and the World Bank constantly coerce African governments to open their countries up to Western corporations. The Democratic Repub Republic of Congo is the richest country in the world based on natural resources, but it's the poorest. Why? Its wealth of minerals is owned by 32 Western companies. Even after aggressive debt relief campaigns, African countries still pay 20 billion US dollars in debt repayment every year. A stark reminder that this foreign aid you speak of is not free. The motion that the West educates the, 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 us in any way is a myth because they simply use a psychological means to, de to make us dependent on them. Let's not deny the facts that Africa contributes 70% of the world's cocoa, 34% of its coffee, 50% of the gold that the world uses is from Africa. Let's face facts. Africa, if taken out of the equation, leaves the West finished, empty, 